We want to surprise, surprise our clients. We want to do something unexpected for our clients again. So also at the engagement session, we can do that as a surprise. So what we do, Joni and I, she mentioned under promise over deliver, right? Yep. We try to do that big time because there's nothing worse than when you, know, you shoot a client's wedding and you tell them it's going to be 30 days or whatever your turnaround time is, 60 days to get the pictures. And you're in a busy season and everything's backed up and it's 59 days in. They haven't <laughs> seen a stinking picture yet. And all of a sudden they send you an email and they go, when was I going to get to see my pictures again? I'd really like to see my pictures. Crap. And as soon as that happens, your value just went way down. They went, oh, yeah, they're coming, I swear. And then you, and then you promise something you can't deliver sometimes. And it starts to bring down their experience of how they feel about right. you. So what Jody and I do is let's reverse that big time and make them think it's going to be way longer than it's going to be because we know we can deliver at least by then. So what we do at the engagement session is we say, hey, it's going to be, like we mentioned in an email, we always say, tell them before, tell them during, and tell them again. You know, so they, because they forget quick. So beforehand, we tell them 30 days. During the engagement session, we say, don't forget, it's going to be 30 days before you get to see any pictures. That's our turnaround time. They're like, okay, 30 days. We can wait 30 days. And don't forget, afterwards, we send them an email. 30 days, you know. <laughs> so what we do instead is we go back to the house. It takes me about one hour to edit an engagement session. If it takes you any longer than that, you either shot too many pictures or you're doing too much Photoshop. It's one of the two. We go back, it takes me maybe an hour to call them, edit them, and then upload them online, and then pull out some Facebook favorites. And what Jody and I do is we build a website. This is one we just got our new branding, so we didn't have any of these websites available from our old, you know, obviously our old, we do from our old brand. So we built one last night. It took Jody maybe five or 10 minutes. So this Go is, ahead and explain this, Jody. This is huge. So this is something your client is not expecting. It's something that takes you no time to do at all, and there's no cost to you. So we use Show It Sites, and one of the coolest things that we do, we use with Show It Sites is what they have, what they call their plus sites. What you're looking at now, this is a plus site. It looks like our website, but it says David and Tammy at the top instead of Zach and Jody. So Melissa Love, our identity specialist, she designed a plus site that obviously matches with our brand, and look, it's about the couple. So you see David and Tammy's photo there, and these are actually the guys who shot our promo photos. Funny, <laughs> DavidMolnar.com. And then right there on the right, read your blog post. There's so you can read there. the blog post we did about you. Click right there. Mm -hmm. And then the thing is, is this is a style group that Melissa has designed for us. Show it has these for free that you can use. You swap out the couple's names, you put in their photos, and then you send them this link, and you're like. Uh and by the way, the website is davidandtammy.zachandjody.com. So you send them an email and be like, guess what? We have a sneak peek of your images or all of your images, whatever you want to do. We have a sneak peek of your images at your own URL, davidandtammy.zachandjody.com. So they go here and they're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And you can make this as simple or as complicated as you want. Some photographers will gather information from their story. They'll be like, hey, I'd love a paragraph about how you guys met. You can even let them use this as their wedding website for RSVPs and all that stuff. But so yeah. there's a welcome, there's a romance, um, there's a, the photographers, there's a link to our website. And the cool thing about this is right there on Facebook, they can share this with their friends and it says leave a comment. So when you click that Facebook button and someone leaves a comment, it shows up on their wall and it shows that website right so there. So freaking cool. How amazing is that? Same thing with the- If you don't wanna get show it for any other reason other than that, that Huge. is sick. Tell me a blue domain site that can do that. And it Sorry. gets better. Not to call it blue domain. Yeah, way to go. Go ahead, Question. <laughs> question's coming in. Uh, and maybe you're going to get to this, but a question from Abby Elaine is, can you have as many plus sites through Show It as yes. you want? Yes, we currently have like 40. Great. And then... <laughs> um, many, but it's a lot. And so for example, our photographer's website is a plus site. So it's photographers.zachandjody.com. The workshop's website is a plus site, workshops.zachandjody.com. Uh, so you can make as many as you want. Follow, Follow up, question. sorry. Yes, um, so it was that, and then... How many images do you do in your sneak preview? We, we like to do like a sneak peek. It depends on how you sell. If you're gonna bring them back and show them images from the engagement session, then maybe try to sell them a, like a sign-in book that they didn't buy, then I'd recommend a sneak peek. Put five shots in there or something like that because then you wanna have something to show at the preview session. Mm -hmm. But we don't do a lot of preview sessions for engagement sessions just because we don't have a lot of time to usually do those. And we save it for the, after the wedding. Um, so we'll put like 15 shots in there and then proof them on the gallery. And if they make a folder of their favorite, like 
15 extra, then drop those in there too, because then you know those are their favorites. Yeah. But we put our the most engaging, the most beautiful, the most emotional shots in there. So there's some other features with Show It um, that we're going to talk about, like why this is so great. And then if we have any questions with some technical or additional questions, then we can hit those up. So this is the page where it's about David and Tammy, about your couple. Swap out the names, put in their story, drop an image in. Publish it, that simple. Is that not sexy or what? Like, <laughs> and this is interesting too, 62% uh, of all bride and grooms make a wedding website off of like the free ones from the knot or whatever. Make them one like this, or even put it in your pack, even sell it if you wanted to. You could sell it as an upgrade, show it to them. We like to do it as a gift because it makes them so excited. But then if they have something like this, like this looks 10 times cooler than anything you've seen, mm -hmm. and it's your brand and a click link to your website. Yeah. That's, and they're gonna, what are they gonna do? They're gonna send every person on the guest list there. They're gonna send all their friends there. They're gonna put it on Facebook. First time we did one of these, within four days we had 350 views on Facebook like oh, that. I'm getting there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what you can do is you can have a link about yourself or just simply put a link to your website, whatever you want. So this was designed you know, by Melissa to show a little about section. So does it ha is it the photo with our cameras? No, it's. It's about the photographers. We're Zach and Jody. Thanks for stopping by. If you've enjoyed this wedding website and like to know more about us, click here. You can do whatever you want. And then, of course, what's so great is you can have an actual gallery on here. So you can put there a few of the engagement photos and a highlight. Or we talked about, we mentioned pass, and people are like, what is pass? So pass is a very simple way to share your images. And we have a screenshot coming up of what pass is. But pass ties in directly to show it. So you, with a click of a button, once you've uploaded your images to pass, it'll pull those images right into their plus site. And what's even cooler is they can share those images right on Facebook. And we're gonna show you um, a few slides sick. down how this is displayed on Facebook, which is phenomenal. So a quick screenshot of the behind the scenes of pass. This is super simple. Um, these are some images from Jasmine Starr, one of her galleries that show it uses just to kind of showcase the back end. Super simple, right? We're all about simplicity and things that are simple and make our lives better. Another cool thing about Pass, next. Oh, so oh, sorry. You, can, you can share images with vendors. You can create folders like for the florist. Throw images in there and then give them a link and it can tie right into Facebook for them to have access. And then they can just download them, whatever size you download. Want. So crazy. And then what's also super awesome is this works on the iPhone, the iPad, and so clients right there, you can release their images to them, either low res or high res. There's so much information, we'll just keep it That's crazy. super That's light. Really but right there on their phone as they're hanging out with their friends, they sign into the, they get the pass app and they're like, look at my wedding images or look at my engagement images. Choo, choo, choo. And right then when there. they click, they can click on an image and share it right to Facebook anytime they feel like it. I'm getting you. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's like you're killing the punchline. So what's super cool about these plus sites, about your Show It site, is they are shareable on Facebook. And I'm gonna show you. So right here, see this? It says post to all. This is a screenshot of our website. You can post it to your profile. You can share it directly with friends, <clears throat> a bride and groom that you're friends with, or you can put oh, it on your page. <laughs> then it takes you to the next slide right on Zach and Jody's wall. I was putting this on our own wall. Then, so you can write your thing, oh my gosh, Sarah, you look absolutely beautiful on this plus site. You love shooting your engagement images. And remember, they can do this from their computer, mm -hmm. from the plus site, from their phone, anywhere that they want. Mm -hmm. And then, they're the ones sharing it. And it posts right to their wall like this. And look at what you see. See that little play button? Want to know what happens when that play button is clicked? Let's find out. So is this a video? Yes. OK, sorry. Video sh demonstrating how this works is pretty cool. Click on that bad boy. Do -do -do. Expands big. Oh, hello there. And guess what? This is our website playing right on Facebook. There's our intro video that we showed earlier. Oh, isn't Zach so handsome? I wish he were my photographer. And click on enter site and you can go in our whole website right there on Facebook. So how powerful is that? You take your you create a plus site for a client, you share it with them on their Facebook page, and all of their friends now can see their images. It links right back to you see, and you can set this up. It says Nashville Wedding Photographers, 
great photography, Zach and Jody. You know, like you can tweak that to say whatever it says. So your images are being shared online, on Facebook with all of their friends, and it links right back to who you are. And when you open a pass gallery in there, the images, they go huge still, right? Yes, and what's great about this, when you share on like engagement images or their wedding images through a pass gallery, there's a little button, and the websites do this too. You click on a full screen button, and right in Facebook, the images go full screen, and people can click through that gallery or click right through that website, right on Facebook, full screen. And they're all linked back to you, all linked back to your website. Amazing. Really, really incredible. So these tools are all about one, Talk about free marketing that goes viral. You know, everybody's on Facebook, everybody's using these viral techniques, everybody wants to get excited and see pictures. People love consuming images. And we do this a day after the engagement session. It's online and let it scatter like rain. You know, let it go everywhere. And people are like, how do you not have to do bridal shows anymore? This replaces bridal shows times 10, and it brings clients going, if you raise your prices, I'm gonna to try to figure out how to afford it. Because this is such an exciting experience versus standing at a bridal show going, you wanna book me? Check out my past gallery or check out my website. You know, it's like, it's night and day difference of marketing prowess yeah. in a sense, using these so, kind of tools. So, as we mentioned on break, um, pass is for people who have show it, because you see who tied it in so quickly. But what the pass guys were crunching on um, up until last night, they have something just for everyone watching Creative Live, where you can have access to it. Um, and it's buy a gallery, get one free. So there's tons of information. You can go to passpremiere.com. There's no E at the end. But if you want that Creative Live promo link, it's passpromo.com slash CL for Creative Live. So this is exclusively for the Creative Live audience, which is huge. So, I mean, talk about I'll like... say that one more time. Pass, so passpromo.com slash CL. And talk about like value and content. I mean, so much is given to you guys like on this and with our sponsors and with Creative Live, like offering like the video downloads for, you know, at such a great price point, like... I got excited going through this marketing stuff again. Because we're seeing our new brand for the first time kind of all put together and Melissa just like, hey man, it looks so awesome. Yeah. So, very, very exciting. Yeah. And, and the good thing about that too, having that sort of um, uh, identity, uh, what do you call that when it's all the same? Consi brand consistency. <laughs> that brand consistency is huge. Because then everybody immediately goes there and goes, oh, that's Zach and Jody, or oh, that's Chris, or oh, that's, you know, the list goes on. They're remembering really quick who you are and they're seeing you everywhere. And that's why we even say things like, if you have an avatar, and maybe that's, this isn't a no. PowerPoint, yeah. but if you have an avatar, I've been, you ever met somebody, that's a, you follow each other on Twitter, but you've never been in their site, and they just chat back and forth, and then you meet them, and you go, who are you again? Oh, you're so-and-so with that weird picture on Twitter, mm, or whatever. Of your neck. A lot of people remember us because we have the same photo everywhere. That brand consistency is huge. We have a professional image taken of us, Jody's smiling, I'm looking at the camera, and we have different versions, us further apart, us closer together, and then us right next to each other. It's all the same image, Photoshop, closer together. So on Twitter, and even on my Instagram, it's that same picture, just zoomed in on me. So people remember who you are, and they go, oh, you're, you're that person that knows that cake lady. You're the person that knows that bridal consultant. You're the one that knows that photographer. You're the one that knows that venue. And everybody remembers you, and remember, your network is your net worth. The yep. more people that know exactly who you are, the better. So brand consistency is huge. So the last one in this process is encourage. We want to affirm our clients, engage with them, surprise them by doing that awesome so many different viral ways, stuff, yeah. so many ways to do that. And then encourage our clients. This is something really simple. Um, and you can do this a million different ways or do it this way. Our clients know we love Starbucks. So we literally have a stack for the entire year of Starbucks cards. It's like a $10 Starbucks gift card. Um, and all of our branding and stuff that we do together is maybe 80 bucks, you know, or something like that for each client. You could cut that in half. And remember, these are marketing dollars. This is what we spend on marketing for a client is 70 or 80 bucks. That's it. Right. And that's a really good point, too. Remember, we said we haven't spent traditional, money we haven't spent money on traditional marketing since 2008. The money that we do spend instead of buying a magazine ad, we're taking our client out to dinner. Well, or shoot, we can a, take them to a million dinners. For that price or buying day. them a pass gallery. You know, each gallery costs 29 bucks. So we buy a pass gallery because we know that $29 investment is going to share virally on Facebook full screen for them and their network. And this is a quick side note. The average Facebook network is 200 people deep. 
So if you go 200 people deep and the average depth of someone's network of tight friends is six people, so it's six times 200 is how many people you can potentially reach every time you make it very viral on Facebook. That's a lot of people and that's worth 29 bucks or worth, you know, having a website that can share like that. It's not about having, you know, the, even the cheapest website. It's about having the one that brings you the most business and this brings us business. Okay, so the last one is encourage. Uh, simply what we do at this, we have that $10 Starbucks gift card. We have these cool little, um, we have them printed off. They're like Zach and Jody um, note cards that are in stationary. our branding, stationary. And we write in there, hey, we know it's coming down. And we do this about two weeks before the wedding. We know it's coming down to the wire. You guys are like going nuts, planning all the last minute things. We've planned a wedding. We know how this is. But hey, go out, have a coffee on us, and no wedding talk allowed. And we've literally had clients, I remember a bride in 2010 emailed us and said, we forgot that this was about us and not about this wedding. Thank you for reminding us we had an hour to just connect again. Mm -hmm. And we're helping them again, benefiting their life. This benefits their life. It's not about, hey, have a free coffee. Thanks, you're awesome clients. It's no, go and connect with each other, commune together, have a coffee. No wedding. And don't talk about your wedding, talk about what you love about each mm -hmm. other again. That's powerful, and that gets them right before the wedding. We're showing up, and they're like, Zach and Jody, mm -hmm. our friends from afar, or close, or however much you interact, <laughs> that have made our lives better this last year. Thank you. Man, and that's what we want. We want to make their lives better. So those are the things that we do to help the client experience part from like the emotional and the oogly googlies and the fuzzy feelings that they feel about us. We are going to be breaking for lunch here and then when we come back we will be talking about the logistics of how we set their expectations for how the wedding day goes and um, we'll be talking through a lot of that stuff including our client questionnaire. So make sure over the lunch break, go to photographers.zachandjody.com, photographers.zachandjody.com, sign up for our newsletter on that splash screen. You'll get an immediate download of our PDF of our 49 question client questionnaire that we are about to go over in this next coming section. And we have officially released our workshop dates. So go to workshops.gray.zachandjody.com and you'll see the cities that we are coming to for our spring 2012 workshop tour. And I think we'll take some questions. And yeah, then... or you can just stay in that photographers.zachandjody.com because that links to, to everything that. else. That's, that's the home base.